everyone, welcome to another weekly roundup. Just a few weeks before Christmas now, Priory Hill Central are globe trotting again. Simon is back in Dubai to touch base with the local industry as well as attend Sale GP this weekend, and I'm sure we'll hear more next week. Sue and Chris are in Italy too. Here's a little debrief of what they've got up to so far. Ciao from a sunny but rather chilly Firenze. Chris and I have had a great few days over here in Italy, kicking off with a visit to Fital Pro in Milan, and then travelling south to see DB Technologies and RCF. Lots of exciting things in the pipeline for 2024 from all three manufacturers. So our trip has finished up here in Florence, meeting with Powersoft, BNC and KRA. It was also great to get the chance to sit down with Lorenzo Corbini at BNC and find out a bit more about the Eminence acquisition. So keep an eye out for that video interview, which will be coming soon. That's all from us and back to the office. Thanks, Sue. There are some big news stories this week. In a deal reportedly valued at $120 million, Rode Microphones has announced the acquisition of Mackie from Transom Capital, the Los Angeles-based private equity firm. Mackie joins a portfolio including AFX, Event and Soundfield. And in addition, Mackie's Melbourne-based Chief Technology Officer, Danny Olash, has joined Rode. Adam Hall Group has expanded its international sales network by signing a distribution deal with Zerbo Zambia. Said to be one of the largest AV and event technology providers in the country, the distributor will now sell LD systems and gravity throughout Zambia. Holoplot has branched out into Asia following their debut at Lightroom Korea, having signed an official deal with Star Networks, which will see its matrix array systems sold throughout the country. Moving further west now, the play Daughter of the Party was originally an ode to the founding of the People's Republic of China and the Chinese Communist Party, and has been performed more than 600 times since 1991. Now, 30 years on, the NCPA restaged the opera in the Giant Egg Theatre to celebrate the CCP's centennial. The performance features nationalistic songs sung in classic Chinese opera style derived from local folk music. For this, the production team called upon sound engineer He Bao to implement Lisa's immersive hyperreal sound. In a strategic move to streamline its production and delivery capabilities, the TV and radio complex of the President of the Republic of Kazakhstan has inaugurated a new broadcast centre in Almaty, consolidating the operations of two major channels, Jebek, Jolie TV and Silkway, with the help of Synergy. With the two channels previously operating from separate locations, the company's shift to a unified HQ aimed to create a cohesive working environment with the Synergy single source solution. White, a brand specialising in lounges that combine luxury dining with entertainment, has opened its second space in Melville, one of Johannesburg's trendiest suburbs. The client requested an evenly distributed audio system that could cater for ambient dinners as well as library events, also factoring in strict noise parameters set by the wider mall management. With the help of DVIA automation, the lounge owners selected a range of speakers from HH Electronics. Well, that's it for this week, but be sure to tune in next week to hear from Simon live and direct from the UAE. Have a good weekend.